So let me begin by just asking you guys, like, I mean, it's a very, like I said, a very provocative film, a very interesting story. What was your initial reactions when you read the script and when you met with Bob about the film? You want to go? Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I honestly, I didn't have any, people always ask me, you know, did you, did you ever hesitate when you were reading a script? No. <laughs> like, there were no hesitations whatsoever. It was just, this sounds so different than anything I'd ever read before, and I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. Yeah, I, I had a little trepidation as to some of the people we may offend along the way, but I always kind of had in my head that, well, I'm just an out of work actor doing a role. You know, I can always blame it on Bobcats. So <laughs> right, right. I, that, that eased it. But I, uh, I was very excited to play the role, and uh, I don't get offered leads in movies very often, so I was pretty jazzed by that. What, what was your approach to Frank? Because obviously, I mean, he's very. You know, depressed. He's, I mean, he's got a lot of emotional stuff going on. What was your sort of approach to getting inside his head? Um, well, I w kind of felt that I was Bobcat's mouthpiece, and so I, I kind of thought that this was Bob. And I've seen his stand-up for years, and I've known him for years, and uh, so I, I, I kind of was channeling him in a way. But um, we kind of started out with uh, some of the near suicide scenes early, and. Uh, there's something about a handgun in your mouth that really kind of brings you to grounded real fast. And uh, I, I just, if you can get to that depressed, everything else is up and, above, yeah. up and away after that. That acting is needed when you have a gun in No, your and I, yeah. I have a really good friend that shot himself about a year ago that, uh, you know, that just thinking about him in... That sort of resonated yeah. with you while you were doing those mm -hmm. things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously the movie... Uh, does more than just poke fun at, but obviously it kind of looks at the decline of civilization or the decline of, of, of our society sort of by this pop culture decline. As there's stuff like American Idol and TMZ and the Kardashians, is there stuff that you kind of look at and you're like, oh, why is this? Why are people looking at this? Why do we watch this? Yeah, I, care. I go off on my wife when I catch her watching, you know, the Housewives yeah. at Sheboygan or wherever she's watching <laughs> them that day. And just because we're actors and, you know, this is our business, our livelihood. Why, why are you supporting those people that are stealing jobs from actors? And it's just a cost-cutting thing by producers to, to put this crap on the air. So I, I, I won't watch it. I would much rather watch, you know, old golf highlights with Lee Trevino on it <laughs> than, than that crap. That's just and me. what do you think when you see the Kardashians and it, Sweet Sixteen and it, all this other it stuff? It bugs me to no end because, and not only for that, but just that that they're they don't seem like nice people, like genuine people. It's all an act, you know. Nothing, nothing on reality TV is actually. Oh, we just happened to capture them getting in a cat fight with each other. You know, it's it's planned. It's it's script. It is scripted. It's just using non-actors, you know? The, the original reality show, that, which was The Osbournes, I, I knew some people hmm. worked on that, and that was just literally cameras following them around 24-7 and then trying to craft show. a show out of it and, and them just being them. But well, I was going to say, when you brought up the actor thing, I mean, now it seems like a lot of actors, when their careers kind of fizzle out or yeah. whatever, now go to reality TV. There's a lot of celebrity, you know, Celebrity Apprentice and stuff like that. Yeah. What do you kind of, what's your feeling about that? I, I think once you cross that line, you better stay on that side then. Uh, I, I think they're all scabs, but that's where I come from. Uh, you know, that's what the the $10,000 pyramid is for. That's what actors should do when they're out of work. They should do game shows instead of this crap. Yeah. I don't know, that's just me. Yeah. Um, let me ask you real quick about uh, the characters again. Roxy, Roxy, what is it that she sort of gravitates to Frank, well, what is that relationship? It's, she's never, uh, she's never really had a friend, I think is that in, in, in high school, she was always very invisible because, not, not because she was weird or because, you know, people didn't like her, it was because she was smart and she was alienated for that reason because she had opinions and ideas about things and, and she really had no, her parents, you know, they didn't, they didn't abuse her or beat her or, or punish her, but they really didn't pay attention to her and they didn't listen to what she had to say. And, and so I think she really gravitated towards Frank because he listened to her and he looked at her as a person and, and she just wanted a friend. Yeah. And then finally, just ask you both about working with Bob. What was his sort of, what's he like as a director? Obviously, we all know him from his work in the 80s and mm -hmm. 90s, but what's he like as a director? And, and, and He's really a, a real low-key guy in, in real life and uh, he was a joy to work with and he, he gets a crew of people together that are just there for movie camp to make a movie and it's all about the art of making the film and there's no hierarchy and this guy's here that guy's there 
I mean, one of the PAs ended up being the musical composer on the yeah. film. I mean, and it's great, it, you know. It's it was just all for the greater good kind of thing, and uh, it, it's a great environment, and he keeps it light and funny, and uh, you know, it, it was one of the best times I've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it shows in the film that yeah. it's a, a, a film made out of love. So thank you guys so much.